Hey guys, so it is about 10, 15 uh, at night. I am exhausted. I know you're probably going to say that you can't tell. Um, I'm, I'm exhausted. Um, this is my robe, my nice plush <laughs> robe that I got from TJ Maxx that I absolutely love. And it's very, very comfortable. I usually have it on most days by 5 o'clock. It's so comfortable and snuggly. So, um, I am listening actually to the Monday Night Empower Network call and the call is still going on now. So shade about that, but it's the phones in my pocket actually. Yeah. The phones in my, oh, it's upside down. Yeah. The phones, it's still going on. It's in my pocket. So, um, as soon as I'm done with this video, I'll tune back into the call. Um, basically something happened on the call and, uh, somebody said something that really, really, really stuck out to me. And I said, oh my gosh, I want to make a video about this right, right now. I want to talk about it right now. Um, Neve, uh, the young lady who was at the Atlanta event, um, this summer was talking about, you know, how she had to change her mindset in order to achieve the type of success that she has achieved now. And I think, um, in the first couple months she started making like $8,000 a month. So she's only been in almost what, like four months now. Um, so with that, she surpassed $8,000 a month, uh, making in residual income from Empower Network. And she was talking about letting go of all her, um, thoughts about how it wouldn't work and it was just a scam and blah, 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 blah. Well, then she said, are you going to allow these things that happen in your life, the things that happen to you to be your tragedies or your triumphs? And I just said, wow, wow, wow. I was thinking about all the people, you know, who have made comments to me in the past couple years, knowing that my son has some serious medical issues that we at one point were struggling with trying to get him on track uh, health wise. But now he has definitely blossomed into a very healthy little boy who randomly at times has some issues and has to be hospitalized. And I was thinking about all the people basically who have made comments uh, to me in passing like, oh, you're so strong and this is so great and you've done such a good job. And how have you been able to uh, be strong through all this and how have you been able to just keep pushing and you know you go to work and you do this and you just act like nothing's going on and I think to myself well that's because I don't look at this as my tragedy I look at it as my triumph and perhaps if you out there start looking at more of your obstacles as something you're going to triumph over versus such a tragedy and such a travesty for you to be going through, then perhaps the mind shift will bring you to a point where you need to be uh, personally and in your business. And that is exactly what has happened to me. Um, I took everything happening at some point as my triumph and not my damn tragedy. You have to get over yourself. Things happen to people every day. Uh, unpredictable things. Your tires fall out, your kids fall off the monkey bars. I mean, goodness gracious, you can't help those obstacles from happening, but you can decide right freaking now that these things are going to be your triumph and not your damn tragedy. And you can move on and move forward and move upward. And if you are one of those people that wants to make things into a triumph and financially wants to have triumph versus talking about you know, how upset you are that things financially aren't coming together or how you're so unhappy with your job or how you have a master's degree, but, you know, you're working just above minimum minimum wage. You're just not happy. And Power Network is definitely something that you need to consider. Of course, I'm going to keep saying it over and over again because I am a mother who a couple days out of the month is surprised by getting random emails in the morning just alerting me to the fact that I've made $38 here or $58 there and damn it that helps when I'm going grocery shopping that's something that I need and I know a lot of my mother friends out there are stay-at-home moms and they talk about how wonderful it is and their husband gives them the credit card and they'll get the credit card number when their husband gets home when they want to buy stuff let's just be real if you had your own money, you would use it. You would be happy to use it. You would be happy not to have to ask your husband for it. So if you want to build something for yourself and you want to bring your hubby in, Empower Network is the perfect thing for you. Honestly, I have been there before. I have never been married, but definitely have lived with a man and depended on him at the moment uh, and had to ask him for money. And that's not something I ever, ever, ever want to do again. <laughs> I just hate asking. Are you one of those people that just hates asking for stuff? Get your own. So 
blog daily, get paid. Click on the link below. It's so easy to get started and I'll see you guys later. Bye.